please welcome Dame Prue Leaf. <laughs> Well, well, well. Hit, now you're talk. This is my kind of cooking, right? <laughs> yeah. Bliss on toast. And every single page in this book has the most delicious on toast recipe. Uh, <laughs> so, which I wouldn't have thought of some of these things. Chicken tikka with yogurt on top of a naan bread. Yummy. Student heaven on thick white toast with beans and sausages and smoked baked bacon lardons. But there's also quite a lot of posh stuff in here as well, isn't there? Yeah. So wh where did the idea come from for this book? Well, it really came like so much from lockdown. Um, I was cooking for two, and you all know, cooking for two is a bit of a pain, isn't it? And you've co Cooking you've... at all in my book, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, night after night, cooking for two is not so good. But it, and I always make too much, and I'm so mean, I can't possibly throw anything yeah. away. So, you know, I'd make a chicken casserole or something, and then the next day, I think, what am I going to do with the chicken casserole? And the secret about leftovers is to use them straight away. Don't let them moulder in the fridge. No. <laughs> and so... I would put it on toast. And then I think, actually, it's better on toast. And I began to conclude that almost anything that's good on a plate is better on toast. <laughs> and, and I ended up with some really smart things on toast, like, you know, um, s s sort of seared scallops on a Caesar salad on rye bread or something. Absolutely delicious. Isn't that just Jeez. an open sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. that's all it is. Toasted and, open sandwich. And you can tell yourself you're not eating too many carbs because you've only got the bottom yeah, layer. Exactly. And actually the carb, I mean, the toast becomes, instead of having to boil potato, peel potatoes, boil them, and, and, or instead of doing rice or pasta, you've got your carbs under your lunch. And also I discovered that Friends, I mean, now that lock, lockdown's gone, um, it's amazing how much more fun it is to just eat in, in the kitchen. Y you know, we've got tired of dinner parties yeah, in a way. Yeah. They're, they're too stressful and they take too long and you've got to get every, the house looking perfect. But it, it, the sort of fashion for sharing meals, mm. and it's absolutely perfect for and things also, on want, toast. I wanted to ask you, because obviously thing. putting stuff on toast is very relatable to everybody. And I know this is a bit of a leap, but obviously we've got a huge obesity crisis coming in this, well, it's here in this country. Uh. And a lot of that is about that we've lost the art of loving food. Yeah. So sort of putting interesting ingredients onto something very relatable, that's quite a good move. Well, I think. I think especially for people who think they can't cook, because first of all, you, you can do everything in that book just by assembling good ingredients. You don't have to cook anything. But if it interests you and you think it's delicious, I think it'll draw you into a bit of cooking. I've got a chapter at the back which is it's called the Keen Cooks Pages, for people who actually want to make the mayonnaise or the yeah. or the oh, nah. or naan bread or, the, <laughs> yeah. or, or flatbread. I mean, yeah. you know, or how to make your own hummus and things. If you want to, mm. you don't have to do that. But you can true. just assemble it. Since lockdown, men have taken over bread making. I know. Isn't it amazing? All the men I know have got yeah. a new skill. And it's and, making and bread. And there are hundreds of new little artisan bakers who yeah. started in lockdown. I know a cameraman who gave up all this nonsense, you guys. <laughs> and, so, and he's now got a successful bakery. And so there are lots of artisan bakeries. And I think that one of the things I hope this book will do is make people think about bread differently. Because how many of you buy the same bread week after week after week? Mm, yeah. Well, why? Yeah. You know, why not yes, one, one week for cashier, then one week's sourdough, then one week a spelt loaf or something? And then go back to, you know, what do you like? You know, wholemeal yeah. slice. Is this something like really simple? Because obviously with the cost of living, you yeah. know, prices we have as well. Very cheap things, you know, there. what is there, would you say, I know, student, for example? Well, I think it'd be good for students because it's easy to do. You don't yeah. need lots of equipment. You need a toaster. Beans on toast? <laughs> and beans. There's, uh, there's, there's beans and sausage, we've there's, heard that there's one. There's beans and sausage. Beans on toast with cheese and daddy's sauce on the top. Well, and you I put that under the grill. That is lovely. Yeah. That's Other my brown favourite. sauces are available. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and lots of things start with... Yep. Lots of things start with a piece of toast and then some... Um, really good flavoursome spread underneath. It could just be a, a sort of lick of mustard or it could be marmite or it could be... Ooh. 
yeah. um, tapenade or anything, and then you put something else on top. Well, the main thing you've got to start with is a toaster that works. Yeah. And if there's one thing that makes me go into a meltdown, apart from all the other things that I rant about on this show, it's a toaster that has four slots in it, and you put your toast in the one of the four slots that's having a bad day. <laughs> and it comes out and it's either cindery or soggy. Yes. I've got something else to talk to you about, though. Harley Davidson. You've got a love for Harley Davidson. <laughs> well, I need to know about this because my mother, when she was alive, mm. called her dog Harley D after <laughs> Harley Davidson. So, what is your like love no, of them? No, well, my husband has a Harley, and his his children t t um, tease him about it because they say. It's, um, it's a bike with stabilizers because it's actually got two back wheels. <laughs> and you know, the brilliant thing about a motorbike with two back wheels is it can't turn over. So it's really safe. So I don't mind going on the back. And in fact, I love going on the back. And you don't have to wear a helmet. You don't have to that wear a helmet. That hair does not do helmet, no. does it? <laughs> <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to wear a helmet. Do you wear leathers? It's technically a trike. Yep. Of course leathers. I wear leathers. Oh. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> love that. <laughs> and, and we go pub crawling. Only I do the drinking and he does the driving. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we mentioned earlier, we have a double dame here. Double dames double dame. on the... Yeah, congratulations, yeah, yeah. both. <laughs> and you got yours in a rather unusual way. I didn't realise that there was a bit of a backlog when you got yours. Oh, there's yours. a fantastic backlog. And, and they <laughs> said... I had a rather polite letter from the palace saying, basically, to summarise what they said, you can wait four years and get it in from a royal, or you could get it from your local um, Lord Lieutenant, you know, the Lord Lieutenant of Oxfordshire who stands in for the Queen, could do it. Or we could send it to you by post. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? What did you get? Oh, and there you are. Look, look no. at that. Fantastic. Well, who knew it? The royals oh, have a waiting no. list as no, well I as everybody Lord else. Um, no. Well, Dame Pruley's absolute pleasure. Always love having you on the show. Bliss on toast. Fantastic. Um, Good. Love that. Best of luck with that book and lovely to see Thank you. you. Thank you Thank very much.